Hi guys, how are you all? Hope you guys are absolutely fine. This is Mudra Mehta and you are watching Mudralogy. Guys, the best part of Ayurveda is that they do not harm your skin and you can use it regularly without worrying about it, about your skin, about your health. Guys, who doesn't want a healthy, flawless and acne free skin? Generally, people is getting laden towards the chemicalized commercial cream which do not do any good to your skin, instead harm your skin. Ayurveda is a treasure trove of remedies that can help you heal your skin and body through different different techniques according to the doshas of your body. Guys, there are many herbs that have essential anti-inflammatory, antifungal and antibacterial properties which helps you to keep your skin clear and acne free. Guys, these herbs really help you to open up your clogged pores and remove all the dirt from your skin and it also creates natural oils which are really necessary for your body. So guys, I have enlisted some essential herbs that you can use for your daily life. Guys, the first herb is jasmine leaves. Jasmine or chamele is not only known for its soothing and calming fragrance but also for its medicinal properties which helps us to prevent our skin from microbial infections and it also regulates the amount of oil which is produced with the people suffering from oily skin and it really works excellent for them. Now how to use this jasmine leaves? Uh, take few jasmine leaves and mix it, um, grind it in the mixer and just add few drops of uh, rose water and apply it on your face for 15 minutes before washing it off with water. Guys, the second one is Chandan wood. Chandan wood is known for its cooling and skin lightening properties. It helps us to prevent from inflammation and further it helps you to reduce pimples and acne from your skin. It also soothes your skin after taking a sun bath, I can say, or I mean, if you are exposed to sun, it really gives you a soothing effect. And now let us see how to use Chandan wood. <coughs> Make a paste of Chandan wood and I mean grind it in the mixer and add two to three drops of rose water and you'll be shocked how it leaves your skin so hydrated and so cleaned. Guys, the third one is neem leaves. Neem leaves are a well-known medicinal herb which is known for its antifungal antibacterial properties which helps us to open up the cloaked pores which stimulates the natural oil production. And now how to use neem leaves? Uh, take few neem leaves and grind it in the mixer, make a paste, add a few drops of rose water and apply it on, the, on your face. Using it daily will really give you a shocking result and definitely will be very very satisfied. Guys, the fourth one is Cetin. Kesar is widely known for its skin lightening properties and it also helps us to keep our skin tone even. Because of its antifungal properties, it they gives us a really good treatment for the people suffering from acne, pimples, blemishes and blackheads. And now how to use it? It's very easy. Uh, take a little bit of saf saffron and soak it overnight. Apply the mixture in the morning directly on your skin and wash it off after 20 to 30 minutes and you'll be amazed seeing its best results. Guys, the last one is aloe vera. Aloe vera is one of the most highly used and highly recommended herb nowadays and it has a lot of antifungal, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory and cooling properties which helps you to get rid of skin problems. The gel which is available inside the aloe vera that is what aloe vera is made up of helps you to get rid from blemishes and harshes from your skin and it leaves you with blemish free skin. Guys, these Ayurvedic herbs are easily available in the market. You can use it on a regular basis. Give your skin a rejuvenating and replenishing feel. So guys, thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel to be connected with my channel. And you can also hit the bell icon to get my notifications. Thank you and have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe.